All right, probably shouldn't have gum. So stupid. Did you just swallow it? <laughs> yeah. Did seriously? Yeah. You ever just swallow gum? No. Uh, I don't do it. I avoid it at all costs. I don't want to see it again later. Sam just did that. That's not weird. One of the weirdest things I've ever heard. You know, you know what is weird? That we're back with a quiz after 16 months. <laughs> wow. Welcome back. Yes, we're here with another quiz, and you know what? It's that time of year again. You've been waiting a long time for us to do this one. It's not a holidays quiz, but it might as well be, because it's the holidays for us. It is a World Juniors quiz. And the United States has won the gold medal in Montreal! Okay, I, I like that. Sweet. I've wanted this one for a while. Let's go! We're here to talk international hockey. Someone get this man a Zepter sticker to stick on his head. Yes! Love it. I'm a little rusty. It's been a little while, so why don't we go over all the rules? Of course, we got our 10 questions. We got that bonus round in the middle. That's where if you get it right, you can earn an extra strike. And how many strikes are you working with today? Nah. You can take one down. Nah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. It's not technically one. Yeah, it's like one zero. It's like, yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's the not once, but twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> You, you get butchered two. that, but yeah. That sounds just as bad as two strikes. Yeah. So. I'm a big World Juniors fan. I'm into that topic. I get it. We're all Canadian in this quiz, and you're, you're probably like, oh, these guys are going to do the most Canadian thing possible. Just pat themselves on the back for about 20 full minutes. I am here to assure you that that is not what is happening. We're going to be talking about a lot of different countries, a lot of different moments. There will not be any gloating. And that's why with question number one, I want to know which country <laughs> has won the most gold medals in the history of the tournament. USA has won quite a few. I don't know, maybe Canada? Nah, just kidding, just Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada. Correct answer is Canada. After winning last year, they made it an even 20. Is that the only padding we'll be doing there, yeah. question number one? It actually is. We're the country that we're just like Corwin. We like to brag that we're the most humble, which is an absolute paradox. Moving on to question number two. Question two. In 2023, Connor Bedard absolutely lit up the World Juniors, scoring 23 points in just seven games. That point total landed him third on the list of most points in a single tournament. Who is number one on that list? It is a Swede that is near and dear to my heart. Big World Juniors hacker. <laughs> He recorded 10 points, three goals and seven assists in a single game against Japan. Played for the Colorado Avalanche. Sweden's Peter Forsberg. Peter Forsberg. Peter Forsberg. Peter Forsberg. Peter Forsberg. When he absolutely decimated that one team. It, was it Japan? Gojira. Yeah, he had like, what, 16 points against them? Peter Forsberg, our man in Japan. He had 10 points. Sweden won 20 to one. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Hey, listen, they talk about not beating up on opponents, but goal differential matters It matters. Sometimes. It sucks when a team gets dummied in a tournament, but like, if you were on that team for the rest of your life, you're like, oh, I played against a Hall of Famer. That's pretty sweet. I, I would say that too. I think that anytime the tournament's like, if those games get out of hand, it's not about the final score sometimes for those countries that are still still nah. developing their hockey programs. It's about, okay, this is the level that we have to try and get to. We're only gonna get there by playing the best teams. And they're still not there. They haven't been back since. They are not there, but you <laughs> know what? cooking. <laughs> That's okay. But uh, <laughs> question number three. Question three. No country has more silver medals in the World Juniors than Sweden. Now, that fact, that probably made it a bit sweeter for their gold medal win in 2012. But who is the player to end Sweden's 31-year gold medal drought in overtime. Man, this, this guy looks exactly like Luca. <laughs> I didn't realize how good I might be at this quiz because okay. in like recent years- This guy's years, Canadian, just in, patting himself <laughs> on his back. No! You talked about Japan showing up for, you know, just happy to be here. Maybe that's gonna be me in this quiz because I feel like I'm already, I'm already struggling. I have no guess. You, have, you don't even have a guess? A center that I have cast far too much doubt on and he is a quality player. I still don't know if he's a top 10 center. This would have been Mika Zibanejad. Mika Zibanejad. Mika Zibanejad. Victor Hedman. Philippe Forsberg? I hate how you said that. <laughs> it was Mika Zibanejad. Oh my goodness. But dying from the Swedish bench. Overtime winner, it was a nasty goal. Great moment. Although terrible game. one nothing win in the gold medal game. It was a huge goal for Sweden to get them, like you said, back in the gold column. Does it make up for all the silver medals they got before then? And many they got after that? For Mika Zibanejad, yes. 
For Leah Sanderson, <laughs> he still can't find this. Speaking of that man, <laughs> question number four. Of course, what is that? It's your favorite type of question. <sighs> Just get it over with, true or false. I can't stand it. True or false, 50-50. True or false. Following Sweden's loss in the 2018 gold medal game, Sweden's captain, Elias Anderson, received his silver medal, then chucked it into the stands. After the game, Anderson was asked why he had thrown the medal, to which he responded, quote, gold is for winners. Silver, that's for losers. True or false? The question is not over whether or not the act happened. That <laughs> happened. <laughs> Leah Anderson just threw his silver medal over the glass. It's on the quote. It's just the quote. <sighs> I was at this game. I was at that World Juniors. I was at this game. Did, are are you saw, the guy with the medal? No, no. I was actually on the total other end of the ring. I wasn't in the stands for that. But I uh, saw it happen. It was still early in the years of going to live events where it's still like figuring out where you had access to and things like that. So I didn't see that happen live. But missed the shot is all I heard. Missed the shot. That's all I heard. Completely missed it. Completely Whiffed blew it. Moment. All time clip. It's amazing, but like this question is insane. I, mean, I, I don't remember what he said. <laughs> I just heard this guy freaking out and tossing his medal. I didn't hear the quote either after because I was not in the media room. I actually think that's true. It's false. I don't think he said that. False. False? I feel like he probably said something similar to that, but I don't think he said silvers for losers. And if he did, that's a wild quote. So I'm going to go false. Uh, you're wrong. It is false. He did not say that. One guy in the stands who, uh, who wanted it more than me, so... Uh... So I have to give it to him and I think he, he deserved it. I will say, a lot of people are super harsh on Leah Anderson as well because all of the comments on him still are about that moment, a lot of times mocking him. But he explained, I have a silver medal from the U18 Worlds and I and uh, I haven't checked it in, in two years since I lost last time, so I want to go get it. People react very differently in high pressure situations like that. So I don't think any of us know what we would have done. I wouldn't have done it, but <laughs> <laughs> I think Z doesn't I know. Yet. One of the greatest ever, he set the standard for losing, for future generations. <laughs> the best part of that clip, of course, outside of him chucking the medal, maybe seconds later, they cut and the guy's wearing the medal <laughs> in the stands. <laughs> 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 yeah, that is so sick. Legend like, of the game. He, he like, knew what to do. Here's the thing, it gets even better. When they first showed him, he's wearing a Rochester Americans jersey or something, and when they cut back, he's wearing a Sweden one. I was gonna say, yeah, I remember that part, that like somehow he switched very it quickly. Was under it. <laughs> Sam, you don't even have a medal for coming in sixth. Why don't you chuck that into the stand? You know what? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah chuck here. the laugh. You know what? I have one of these from all the other quizzes that I lost. You can have this one. <laughs> I'm sick of losing. Respect. Question five. In 2016, Finland claimed gold on home soil with an absolutely stacked roster. That roster included, get this, Miko Rantanen, Patrick Laine, Rupe Hintz, Jesse Pugliarvi, and Sebastian Ajo. That's a lot of NHL firepower. But who was it that scored the OT winner? The golden goal winner. Who was he? He's made a bunch of money in the NHL. I think this is like the best world junior moment. One of the craziest moments in Finland against Sweden. I don't even think we as Canadians can fully understand how big that would have been. With Timu in the crowd. They love they, hockey. They love and hockey and they love Alan Wake too. <laughs> And they love Rasmus <laughs> Ristolainen because he's the one that scored that goal. What? No. Oh, was it Kasperi Kapanen? Kasperi Kapanen. Kasperi Kapanen on the wraparound. Kasperi Kapanen? Leafs legend. Oh. Someone who owns a Jesperi Kakanyemi jersey. I consider Finland like a second home. I was very, very pumped that Finland won. Gives me chills every time I watch it. It's incredible. Russia tied things up in the third period with like six seconds or something left in it. At the point of going to Provorov along, Rishon scores! Provorov, a point shot, the game's tied! Just to lose in overtime like that in such a, like, a dramatic fashion with a wraparound goal. <laughs> Epic. You got one strike. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow, that's, that's a <laughs> that's a massive slip up. I just love the fact that I love the World Jays so much that I'm just rolling with this quiz. That brings us to our bonus round. Bonus round. Bonus round.
This is where we get the chance to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, you know what? If you're enjoying the video, why not give it a like? Like the video. It really helps us out. It's also where we get the opportunity to read some of our favorite comments from the last time out. Comments such as Arnold Blue saying, I think next April you need to do a full true or false quiz for April Fools. Can't imagine how triggered everyone would be. That would be a lot of fun. That would actually be so much fun. Who suggested that? Arnold Blues. Arnold Blues. Go for Fully expecting Z to just do like 10 trues. What the heck, Arnold? How does that sound? <laughs> you want to get in this coach and answer this true or false question? <laughs> Go right ahead. I'm going to tell you right now, we're doing that. Brock Roberts 3424. So does Jesse just not get to host a quiz now that it's a new season? Was really looking forward to Look, that one. Jesse, what do, you, what do you think? I'm down whenever. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say this. <laughs> he will. I'm gonna, I get it. It's, it's so crazy so, for know. you to continue to, to talk to, about this. Like, oh no, for sure. No, He's no, doing he it. will. <laughs> It'll happen. We'll discuss. 100%. We'll, di we'll discuss. We're moving on to the bonus question now. And the bonus question, that also comes from you in the comments. And of course, once I read the question, you have 30 seconds to answer. This is from Kelvin KBM. Inspired by Corwin's love of goalie, and how they deserve to be the highest paid players. Who are the top five goalies by all time save percentage? Now, before you start, and don't worry, your timer hasn't started yet, the NHL has this listed on their website with a minimum of 100 games played. So I'll let you do the math in your own head. Good what a luck. ridiculous bonus question. <laughs> if you know what, if you get three out of five, I'll give it to you. Okay, Hashik, I think is the. That's a lock. That is correct. I, like, I don't even know where I should begin with this. I'm trying to think of, like, newer goalies who'd have, like, really good save percentages. So I'm just going to start off and say... Shesterkin? Shesterkin. Igor Shesterkin is one name. That is correct. Sorokin? Sorokin? Yes. Andre Vasilevsky. That is incorrect. Oh. Okay. Oh, Ken Dryden. <laughs> You getting that correct yes! is actually just as impressive yes! as him being in there. Patrick Waugh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny that the goalie hater of all people got that. And yeah, See, but that's how you know games. that's how you know I'm right, because it's just Shut up. I, I pay hey, so hey, much attention hey, to them. Hey, <laughs> hey, real quick. <laughs> Shut up. If you have a question that you think would make for a great bonus question, go ahead, type below. Also, if you want your comment read next time, all you gotta do, comment on the video. <laughs> Moving on to question number six. And it's a good thing you got that bonus strike. I'll tell you that much. It's that trap card. This one's a tough one. Oh, lovely. Kaiba! <laughs> Trap, trap, Just say goodbye to Thomas. <laughs> See how I'm sitting on this couch right now? <laughs> That's Does the... it look like I'm phased at all? Just get it over with here. Yeah, you're gonna need those because you're about to get blown away. Five years ago, ahead of a game between Switzerland and Canada, then Swiss head coach, Christian Volvind, he went on an epic rant stating, quote, They're uh, faster, they're bigger, they're stronger, they can shoot better, they can pass better, they can do everything better. So is this what you'll tell your team? Like, what do you say to your team? <laughs> exactly that. Legend. At the end of this rant, Volvind listed how many of his players were NHL drafted at that point in time. Name each of those players and what round they were drafted in. What? Oh, God. Let's go! Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I think I just moved the couch. I'm fired up because I love this Swiss coach. I have listened to this soundbite so, so many times. Did I feel you, like I can imitate it. Do, do, did you listen to the question as well? Okay. There's, there's I got no so way excited getting... midway through the question. Let, let me, I need to make sure I understand. Uh, I literally need you to name me any player that was NHL drafted on that team and what round they were in. Oh, I just got way too excited for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think who is even like a young Swiss player in the league. When you write a trap card that good where a guy just falls to his knees in a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, that is so hard. I know that sound bite so well. Hey Thomas, what am I doing back here? You have no faith in me. What did I just do? He just closed his laptop. <laughs> I don't know. That Swiss team, I can't even name Swiss hockey players, let alone. Oh, come on. Five years ago, too? Name one. Name one Swiss hockey player? Marco Ross. Oh, brother, who's that on the logo? Yeah, what, are you an idiot? No! He, he's Austrian. Oh, he's Austrian. Dude. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Um, Swiss hockey. Nino Niederreiter yeah. is Swiss, right? Uh, F Kevin Fiala. Kevin like, Fiala Swiss, too. This guy, okay. he sucks. Well, this was fun, you know, but yeah. anyways. I'm going like to strike the set. A pretty good crack. Like I said, I've watched that soundbite a bunch. Nico Heischer was taken first overall the year before. In that soundbite, he references guys like Timo Meyer. 
Are you turning the lights off while I'm answering? Siegenthaler? I don't know. Kevin Biao is the only Swiss player I'm confident in knowing. Timo Meyer, Sven Andragetto. Are you sweating yet? See, this guy's taking off his headset. You're not sweating the fact that I know Sven Andragetto. I think it was like Roger Federer and he was taken in the seventh round. They were like, he's good at a sport, but we want him as an ambassador. <laughs> oh, what are they gonna do? They do their roof daddy! It's true, he's never out in the first round. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Does that not impress you? He's turning off all the lights. Give me a chance, Z, come on. Give me the strike. The correct answer, Tobias Geyser. Wow, the geyser. Okay, that is the guy? Yeah, fourth so round. That's the one player? Yeah, that's the one guy. Fourth round from the Capitals. That was the only player. Akira Schmidt, uh, he, he was on that team. The next year he yeah, was drafted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil's, Devil's nice story there. There's more Swiss draft picks than I know. Question number seven, an easier question. And I like this one a lot. The world juniors are built on getting the chance to see top NHL prospects go head to head. In the past 10 years, how many players who were selected first overall in the NHL have won gold at the tournament? Wow, last that is- Last 10 a, years. Last 10 years. Why don't you just go year to year? You know the picks. Uh, Bedard, yes. Obviously Connor Bedard did. Connor Bedard. Owen Power, no. Slavkovsky didn't win one. So like, I don't think Jack Hughes, oh. I love this because it's, you know, it's like a good cross-referencing of wiki pages that people definitely just stare at when they're in the washroom. Yeah, it's true. Three no's. So Slavkovsky, Darlene, Hughes. Nico Heischer was the first overall pick and he definitely didn't win one. Who drafted first overall in 2014? This is such a complicated one. Can I have like a piece of paper? No, abs <laughs> absolutely not. I've never asked for that. I never, I never actually, and, I was, and, that was a genuine. What? Never ask again. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? So is that like a rule in the quiz? You can't have a piece of paper? Yeah, what you, imagine Jeopardy, someone's like, can I have a, can I have a piece of paper? Where you <laughs> what are you stupid? They'd be like, get <laughs> oh, off Oh yeah, this is Jeopardy set. now. No, okay. get, name a game show where they allow that kind of crap. <laughs> Give me my $700,000 in winnings from all my quiz wins, okay? No, 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 you can just host. <laughs> That's your prize, just like Jeopardy. If you're really good at Jeopardy, you can just be the host. So now we know why Jesse has an host. <laughs> Lafreniere. Lafreniere, Lafreniere. <laughs> However the hell you say it. Lafreniere. Lafreniere, yes. Connor McDavid. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna go Lafreniere, McDavid, and Bedard. Nothing else, huh? I'm gonna say Ekblad, no. Nothing else. So you're saying three. Yeah. Yes. Buddy, you better get that loser's medal. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you got it. Oh. Pat yourself on the back. back. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> to question number eight. I, I'm, I can't believe I got that. Holy. You can't? Can you believe it? I can. Question eight. When you think 2009 World Juniors, yes, you think that quote too, but you think Jordan Eberle's game tying goal in the semifinals. Backhand towards the goal, loose puck, Eberle scores! Tie game! Can you believe it? I can. But who was the player who was awarded tournament MVP that year? That is so hard. Oh my God, what? Ooh. Ooh, that's a great, great question. I can! I can! Oh, the one thing I will tell you that I know is that Cody Hodgson led the tournament in points, which is crazy. Sabres <laughs> legend. Yeah. That team was stacked, obviously John Tavares. John Tavares set up Eberle. Tavares backhand towards the goal. You've got P.K. Subban on that team. P.K. Subban. A lot of great names. I think I just gotta go with Steve Mason. I'm gonna guess it was JT. John Tavares. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Mason. <laughs> it was JT that got the MVP. Wow! Hey, okay, there we go. Oh man, that sucks. You know what's crazy? I remember being in like an Applebee's when John Tavares scored his Hattie in that tournament. Applebee's, best lemonade in the game today. <laughs> Low key. I'm telling you, get a lemonade from Applebee's, you'll be like, what the hell am I drinking right now? I'll, and then I'll ask, why the hell am I in an Applebee's? <laughs> Amazing ribs. Question number nine. In what was possibly the wildest moment in the history of the world juniors, the punch up in Piestani was the bench clearing brawl to end all bench clearing brawls. Punches, kicks, and sticks went flying as officials tried to gain control of the situation with a decision that now lives in infamy. They turned the lights off. They're trying to turn the lights off and they turned them off. Kind of like how I cut the lights out on Thomas. This is the most cruel ending to a quiz ever. The end result was Canada getting disqualified, costing them a chance at gold. But who was it 
That won the gold. Oh, goodness. I have no goddamn idea. Doing as dirty with this question, Z. What a great question that is. I mean, I, I was hoping you were going to be like, what did they do to stop the teams from yeah, fighting? No, I was hoping that was going to be I what know the question you were, because it's obvious. We've all watched the clip. <laughs> Everyone knows they turned the lights they out. They turned the lights Because it's idiotic. This situation on the ice looking real unsafe. Let's make it unsafe for the people in the crowd, too. <laughs> Literally, yes. like, you are skating with knives on your feet. Now you're going to turn the lights off. These teams hate each other. And now you can't see who's doing the violence. Can you imagine if you were in a headlock in that moment getting wailed on? You're like, cool, I'm dead. And then yes. you take a fist to the mouth. Any chance I had of getting out of this headlock is, is gone. gone. Oh, my God. Yeah, I need help. Sorry, we, we, Sorry. we don't know where you are. We literally can't see you. It's like that Mario Party <laughs> game. It's called Lights Out. It's like a one verse three. Stop! All right, I just got to pick a team that won. I've got no idea. So let's fluka my way into this. I think of Shaun the Dark here. Finland. Finland? Soviet Union or Russia? They were disqualified. Oh, <laughs> God damn. I don't know what happened there. It's terrible, guys. Fluka has arrived at the final boss. <laughs> A terrible guess. <laughs> terrible guess. The only reason I chose this over just asking, oh, like what happened is the footage of Finland finding out they've won is hilarious. What a terrible way to celebrate a championship in your street clothes in a hallway. That was Finland's first gold. I can't think of a worse way to win. This warrior. Is yeah, you didn't do that well, but you know what? Because you too are a fan of Alan Wake, <laughs> I'm gonna let you rewrite your own narrative here. Bar down was another place to use in this story. The couch was usually a source of inspiration, but today, all it inspired was a nightmare. I could change that. We're moving on to the final boss. Jesse? Already? Oh my. Look to your left. Look to your right. Look down the center. It's down to fight. Turn the lights out. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. There have been a lot of stacked rosters in World Juniors history. We're going to talk about what is perhaps the best roster to have not won gold. Name every player on Team USA's 2016 World Juniors roster. Ooh, this one's kind of fun. You knew they had to come up eventually. Oh. Whoa. I mean, Austin Matthews, let's start with him. Matthews. I believe Matthew Kachuk was on that team as well. Can I go play his first year? He played Boston College before he got drafted. Just trying to think of USA players that kind of came into the league at that time together. Man. None of the Hughes... Hughes's would be there. Tough. Charlie McAvoy might be too early. You have two. I have two. I have two. <laughs> I feel like I want to guess McAvoy and Fox, but I'm not sure which one I should go with first. Clayton Keller? Let's go McAvoy. You can go ahead and chuck your medal into the stands. <laughs> yeah! Let's go, baby! Sunglasses. I love those sunglasses, too. Notable names you forgot. A lot. Zach Wierenski. Oh, that's the other defenseman. He did the dab. Brock Besser. Alex Dabrinkit. Oh, God. I am really blew this. Sonny Milano. Sonny's like the most underrated player in the NHL. He's great. Uh, Christian Dvorak. Nedeljkovic in net. Just scored a goal. I blew it. What's that? Wait, what's that one finger? for because i'm the champion oh that's how many seconds you're gonna have for your winner circle I'm turns the lights off closes his laptop and leaves mid-answer i would have gotten sven berchi tobias geyser 